Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to customize the app page. So what we're going to do is to our sales application, we will add a new app page, which will give you the top platinum and SLA customer list. And we will add some chatter information, etc. So let's go ahead and create our app page. So in order to do that, we will go back to the setup. In this quick find, we will go back to our app builder and we have used this app builder to customize the home page and we have also done it to customize our record page as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and hit the new button and uh, you can see here these are the different types of pages that you can create. So this is the app page. And on the app page, it'll look something like this. You can add reports, dashboards, etc., which will give you a kind of a chart view. You can add your recent items, whatever you want to do it. This is the home page. If you wanted to add this home page, if you wanted to edit it, this is the way to go. If you want to edit the record page, just like we did it earlier, we customized the opportunity record page. You can do that for any other objects as well, like accounts, contacts, etc. So for the timing, we have already seen how to customize the home page and we have also seen how to customize the record page. So for this tutorial, we are going to customize the app page for our sales application. So we'll go to the select the app page here and hit the next. So here we're going to say top customers. This is going to be the label and then we're going to hit the next button. Now these are the different kinds of templates that are available. So you can choose whatever template you want. So you can choose the header in the right sidebar, three columns if you want, two columns. So let's say we pick up this one, header and the two columns if you want. So you can pick any of these options here. And uh, then these are the columns. So either you can do that or you can just do main column and then the sidebar. I like this one, main column and the right sidebar. So let's select this template and hit the finish button. And uh, these are the components that have, you can add. So you can drag and drop components here if you want to, okay? What kind of view you want to take. So you can, you can go ahead and change whatever the view do you want to look. On the phone, it'll look like this. If you're looking, on the tablet, it'll look like this. If you are looking it on the portrait tablet in the portrait mode, it'll look like this. And for the desktop, it'll look like this. So we'll, since we are looking at the desktop, we'll leave it as it is. So now what we have is on the first, the chatter feed, what I'm going to do is the chatter publisher, I'm going to add this to this right column here, the chatter publisher. Then the next thing underneath this chatter, let's say, what do you want to do? So for this dashboards and for the reports type, if you try to add those, you need to provide the dashboard that you want to use. Since we just started working on this project, we do not have any dashboards created. But once we start working on our app, then we will talk about dashboards and reports. Then we will come back to this topic. So since you, we do not have any dashboards, so we'll just, that's why it's giving us invalid. Even for the report chart, if you want to display, you need to provide the reports here, but we do not have any shared reports to be provided. So we're going to just leave it as it is. So we have added this chatter publisher to one of the component. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a list view here. So we're going to add the list of records. So what kind of records do you want to display? So you can select which object you want to display. You can choose if you want to display opportunity records, you want to display account records, whatever. So you can go ahead and display, let's say we're only going to stick to accounts. So what accounts are you interested in? Are you interested in all the accounts or are you interested in the new accounts? So for the timing, I'm going to select this platinum and gold SLA customer. So these are the customers that I want to display. And I want to display, let's say up to 10 customers. So it'll give me the list of 10 customers. It'll display me the top 10 platinum and SLA customers. So now hit the save button. So we have added, not yet, we have added two components. One is the list view, the other one is the chatter publisher. Now the next one I want to do is, I wanted to add this recent items. So it'll display you the recent items that you have seen. 
So it will display what recent items. Are you interested in all the different records that you have seen or only interested in account records or contact records or opportunity records? So you can select which recent items you want to see. So let's say I want to do change the number to five and uh, not only account, I'm also interested in opportunity. So we're going to drag this opportunity to the right. And uh, let's say we're also interested in contact record. So we're just going to pull the contacts. Then hit the OK button. So it'll display you the top five records. It can be from account, it can be from opportunity, or it can be from contact. It can be from any of these. And then this is hit the save button. So now this is our app page. So the name of the app page is top customers. Now, if you want to add some actions, let's say you wanted to on the app page itself, if you want to add some actions. So in order to add some actions, what you can do is you go to the page, you select the page, not under the components. If you are not under the list view or any chatter, you have to select the page. And if you select the page, if you scroll down, you will see the actions here. So this is the list of all the actions that you can do. So you can choose from this list. So let's say I wanted to log a call. That action will be available right in inside of your app page. Or if you wanted to create a new case, whatever you want to do, you can move it on the selected list and it will display you there. So let's say you wanted to add a new event on your app page. So you can do all those things. You wanted to do a new task, whatever. So we're going to just leave it only log a call and a new event. And let's say I want to also move the email. So we can do three things from uh, from the app page. So once we have done that, hit the save button. So we have only saved our changes. We have to activate this page for the users to see, right? So what we have to do is we're going to hit this activation button here. Once you hit the activation, this is the page that pops up. And there are three things. One is the page settings, then you have is the lightning experience, and then you have is the mobile. So let's start with the page setting. So the page setting is this is the name that we have given. Enter the name for your app. So this is the name that we have given. And page activation. So do you want this page to be available for all the customers or do you only want for your system administrators? So what we're going to do is I only want it for system administrators. So let's just leave it here. Now if you want to change any icons, right now this is the icon that you see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this icon and I'm going to display heart shape. Let's say I'm going to pick heart here. And then under the lightning experience, it is asking, so what all applications will have this app page. So I will say that only the sales application will have it. You can see here, there is this new page got added top customers. So if you want to drag it to the bottom, you can do it. If you want to move it on the top, you can move it. So just by drag and drop, you can do it. So now we are moving the top customers before the home page. And then this is for the next tab is for the mobile. So if you want this page to be added to your mobile, Salesforce mobile, you can do that. So that way, whenever you're going to log into your mobile Salesforce account, then what will see happen is you will be able to see this page on your mobile menu as well. So we're not going to do anything for the mobile right now. We will just go back to our lightning experience and we have already added our app page to our sales application. You can choose all these applications if you want, but we're only going to stick to the sales application. So let's go ahead and hit the save button. So finally, we have finished working on our app page. So now if you go and refresh it, if I go ahead and refresh my application, so I'm under the sales application. And now you can see here, there is this page available called top customers. It gives you the list of top 10 customers, the platinum and gold SLA customers. So these are the accounts that is displaying. These are the actions that you have that we have added. So this is the list of the actions. These are all the log a call, new event, email. This is the chatter publisher component that we have added. And these are the items, the recent items. So this gives you the contact record, all these different records that you have recently viewed. So it gives you the list of those records as well. And this is the three components that you see here. So now if you compare it with your view, you can see that. 
So you can see here, if I change it to portrait, this is how it's going to look like. In the portrait mode, if you change it to the landscape, this is how it's going to look up in the landscape mode. And if you change it to the desktop, this is how it's going to look up in the desktop. You can see here, these are the top 10. It shows you the top 10 platinum and gold SLA customers. So you can see these are the top 10. Then you have also added the chatter publisher here. This is exactly what it displays here. And then below that, you have the recent items and then you have displayed the five records if you want to display. If you want to change that number, you can change the number to whatever number of records. If you want to see only two records, it'll you can just change that number. And then you also have this these actions. These are coming from this page. So these are all the different actions, log a call, new event, email, etc. So far, what we have done is we have seen how to customize record page. We have seen how to customize the app page. And also we have seen how to customize the home page. So now what we're going to do is in the next tutorial, we will start building a custom application. And as we progress through this application, you will learn about the different features that is available in the Lightning UI and also how to navigate the things in the Lightning UI. You've already done those things using the classic UI, but we have this course especially dedicated for the Lightning UI. So if you want to see where things are available, how to create objects, how to create fields, how to work with data import, wizard, how to work with reports and dashboards. We're going to start working on that custom application from the next tutorial. So I will see you then. Thank you so much.